Right, I've been up to the church at Roebarrow, up a little track through the woods. This is Dolbury Warren now. You go up there, it takes you up to the fort, but that, I don't think this is the main way up. Um, I'm going back on the main track, skirting a bit of the Roebarrow Warren wood. But I think if you want to go up into the, you follow tracks along here somewhere, they're not very clear. But I'm getting back on this main one. I'm going to get up here a minute. So this is Sheila, out in Roebarrow, Warren, not far from Ship and not far from Roebarrow, doing a bit of exploring on this beautiful summer's day. <sighs> Dolbury, Warren, Dolbury Woods. I'm still backtracking. Um, I wasn't going to put the video on until I got back to the concrete pipe. Uh, I don't think it can be that far. I've, it took an hour out when I spoke to the runner woman. Um, and I decided to go and see the church in the end. I didn't do a video because I've got video of it before. But I'm still not back to the crossroad where I actually came originally when I came through I'd been up um, Winscombe Drove, crossed over a busy road to Shipham, followed a very minor road, then entered the wood, followed round in the wood, came down, followed a stream, a babbling brook, then decided to pursue this route down that way in order to get my bearings. Now I'm going back, and in a minute, when I come to a concrete pipe, I will know, not the first concrete pipe, it's just through there actually, we will be going on following a route which I have done a bit of in the past. Not this bit, but from the other end. But it took me away from the fort, so what I did was, um, I didn't complete this bit. So there's a pipe there, there's a lot of drainage going on here. Lots of old buildings. Well, I reckon it would have been quite a busy community in the past. All mining area, of course, around here. Lead. Of course, they've turned the water off at the moment and they've redirected it. It does look like it's trickling a bit through now, though. They might have started to let it through now. Only they'd, um, they'd put in pipes down. Or they've stopped the water coming through while they're building a small bridge to someone's house. I mean, he could have got flooded, see? So he's now got his own bridge. Now here we are at the concrete pipe. Now earlier, I came that way. This isn't my selfie stick, by the way, it's my walking stick. Now I'm going to follow around the wood. The idea is to go back to Cheddar this way. Just a leisurely walk, no panic, no rush. I've ate both my chocolate cakes. I've still got two jam tarts, a packet of crisps, a lump of cheese, two oranges, and a need a full bottle of water, plus a carton of black currant juice. Loads of these old walls here. Of course, the thing is, you need to always keep stocked. Just in case anything happens. You know, you get lost or you hurt yourself. You've got something to keep you going for 24 hours, really, even if it isn't a lot. Right, so this is Sheila, the 7th of September 2015. I'm in Wobar Roebarrow Warren. 
skirting the wood. It's a lovely day. It's, um, you could imagine this being really, really full of water and very, very boggy during the raining when it's really raining. So I'm going to turn off now because I might need to keep a bit for further on. But I didn't bring the spare camera and I didn't bring the other mobile to take photos on so I should have really brought both cameras out. Alright, over and out for now.